This video will explain the proper settings for the retention head and electrode on your EnergyLogic waste oil furnace. You'll need to check and potentially adjust your retention head and electrode settings every time the nozzle line assembly is cleaned or serviced. Note that there are two electrode retention head designs. The double bend electrode design features two electrode wires that make 90 degree bends. The current single bend electrode design features a single angled bend. These electrodes will only be found on retention heads with a center cutout and electrode alignment tab. Needle nose pliers are necessary for making adjustments on either electrode design. Step 1. Assemble the nozzle block. After cleaning the nozzle block assembly components, first slide the air vein onto the nozzle block. The air vein should protrude from the left side of the assembly when looking directly at the nozzle. Next, slide the retention head over the nozzle. On current models, the guide tab should be facing up when looking directly at the nozzle. This tab will fit into the groove on the bottom of the electrode ceramic. On older models, one leg of the retention head should point upward when facing the nozzle. The electrodes will straddle this leg. Secure the retention head and air vein in place at the retention head collar. Then put the key in place to properly space the electrode and attach the electrode to the top of the assembly. Step 2. Make adjustments. Once the assembly is back together, adhere to the following specifications. Part A. The electrode gap should measure 3 32 of an inch or 2.4 millimeters. Part B. Electrode tips must be 1 16th of an inch or 1.6 millimeters behind the end of the nozzle. Part C. The nozzle should protrude approximately 1 8th of an inch or 3 millimeters beyond the retention head veins. Part D. For the double bend design, the vertical location of the electrode wire should be 7 16ths of an inch or 1.6 millimeters from the center of the nozzle to the wires. For the current single bend design, the prong should be centered in the space between the nozzle and retention head. Make sure that there is a gap between the electrode wires and the nozzle. There should also be a gap between the retention head inner diameter and the electrode wires. Step 3. Reattach the assembly to the burner. Part E. The retention head is recessed approximately 1 16th to 1 8th of an inch or 1.5 to 3 millimeters into the air tube. Part F. The retention head should be centered within the air tube. If not, straighten the centering tabs if they've become bent. Ensure that the centering bracket is not missing or misaligned. Or, loosen the knurled nuts, center the retention head, and retighten if necessary. For other instructional videos and more information about our products, visit us at energylogic.com.